Hey, what's up? I'm Tyler J. Santos, and this is my YouTube channel. Um, so this will be your reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. This will be for the end of December. Um, ooh, ooh, the devil. So a lot of you might have an addiction, um, bad habits you want to leave behind. It's a new year, so new year, new you. <laughs> and you have a Wheel of Fortune also, too, that pops, so... You have all these different um, avenues available to you right now, but maybe something, what what things are holding you? What chains do you have that are binding you from moving on and getting your prize, getting your um, destiny, moving forward with this Wheel of Fortune? You don't know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, but you have a new opportunity coming with this Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity for more money, um, maybe a bigger place, maybe, um, mm, pinnacles are all about the material world and things that are actually manifested. Ooh. Mm. So you have judgment here. So are you, um, mm. you have judgment, you have Ten of Wands, and you also have the Seven of Wands. So this energy right here to me is about awakening something. Like judgment to me is like judging yourself, seeing discernment, seeing what, what's worth taking into 2019 with you and what you need to leave behind. Like leave these burdens behind. Leave the shit behind that you don't want to be anymore and move into 2019 with this new energy of ideas, and new opportunities, of um, moving forward and going forward with this. You have everything available to you right now. You have every option in the world. You have a new beginning. So don't dwell on this devil. Don't dwell on... But just whatever you need to do and heal in yourself on this material world, or what are your, whatever you're bound to, oh shit, whatever you're bound to, you need to um, go ahead and release it, um, and not carry those burdens. Ooh, and definitely charge forward. You have the Knight of Wands, fire, passion, moving forward. Make sure you are being fair with it, though. Um, it's going to be an equal opportunity. You're going to have enough to give to everyone. You'll have the balance. You'll have the scales. Um, let's see what else. Ooh. And then being creative. I think everyone's in this very creative energy. Um, especially you, Aquarius. Aquarius is always... They're whoa, 10 steps ahead of motherfuckers. So people always think Aquarius is weird. I love Aquarius. Uh, um, my sister's Aquarius, actually. Um, but... It's weird. You guys have this weird-ass energy that's, like, ten steps ahead of everyone else. And if you just realize that these people need to catch up, you don't need to slow down, um, you'll be happier. You'll be... Ooh. Page of Wands. So, a new opportunity, um... Figuring... Yeah. It's a new page. Like, turn the page is what I'm hearing. It's like, um, ooh. But know that there might be a battle, but fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you believe in. Mmm. Lover's card. Fight for what you believe in, because this is going to be worth it emotionally for you. Um, Aquarius, this is so beautiful. Um. I think a lot of people are going to have huge spiritual awakenings in 2019 if they're not woke already. I had mine um, during the eclipse in 2017 of September, and I'm just now starting to push myself away from my own um, chains or whatever you want to call them, addictions, but it's things that are binding you, whatever you want to say. And I just got into my own creativity, so I see the same shit for you guys here. Um, but the choice is yours. It's up to you to spin the wheel. It's up to you to let the shit go. 
It's up to you to leave your burdens in the past. I'm like, cool, I'm gonna get some clarity. Ooh. This is destroying something so that we can build a new opportunity. We a new beginning. Um the past is worn out. The old shit's worn out. The old structure, this old um this old system. I see this a lot too with um with the society as a whole. I feel like a lot of the star seeds and a lot of um healers, light workers, tarot readers, whatever the else there is. Um I feel like we're here to bridge these gaps. Like it's kinda like we're bridging the gap between our parents who never had internet and our children or our brothers and sisters who will have who have only had the internet. So we're bridging that gap. We're also where we are um the millennials, like we're bridging this time gap between the two thousands and the nineteen nineties or whatever. And we're also bridging the gap between like the spiritual world and this material world because a lot of us are just waking up but a lot of our knowledge is way way more advanced than people older than us and a lot of people who i watch doing tarot are a lot younger than me so we know what's real we always have we kind of did our own thing and it's like now that we have our spirits or now that we've had our awakenings or now that whatever you would like to call it we're kind of destroying this old structure of things and maybe it's you know, it happens on every level, so maybe you have to destroy something in yourself first. Maybe it's you have to destroy some beliefs that are worn out. Maybe you have to destroy um, some pattern or habit you made for yourself. But I definitely see that in this. And it's like, once you get rid of those things and these chains that bind you here, you can move forward um, for love. For, um, really cool. Ooh. Strength. So, it's definitely something within yourself and taming your beast, taming this doubt, taming this fear, taming this whatever this thing is in you, but not with brute force. You don't want to, ah, you want to, um, she's like petting the lion almost, and he's like sticking his tongue out, eh. but it's about doing shit with love and not forcing shit down people's throat it's like you want to you want to destroy the tower with some compassion and love not we're gonna go out here and picket fence and burn motherfuckers not we're gonna sit and beat ourselves up about shit we're just gonna love ourselves and the bad shit's gonna fall away all the fake shit's gonna fall out the window the bad the fake people the fake relationships, the fake, just all the fake, all the fake's gonna go away in 2018, so, Aquarius, you're 2019, let me see what I got for you, oh, yeah, definitely, letting some shit go, maybe these are thoughts, ideas, something you might let go, move forward from it, um, let's see what from here, Sometimes these ones are like, mm. Mm. what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. There you go. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. <laughs> And let me do one for the Abraham hit. Whatever I can imagine, the universe can deliver. If you have the ability to imagine it or even think about it, this universe has the ability and the resources to deliver it fully unto you. For it is like a well-stocked kitchen and every ingredient imaginable is at your disposal. It's weird, I was just talking about ingredients from, like, in the last reading I did. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... <laughs> you guys are lit Aquarius has this creative energy you guys are going to do it stop over analyzing stop thinking about it just do it don't wait go it's your time now it's 
people don't understand you, they will. <laughs> like I said, don't don't slow yourself down. Like these people need to catch up to you, Aquarius. Because this is your time. It's the age of Aquarius. It's your energy. Be in your vibe. Be in yourself. Be in your being. Go. Like, do you? Because your 2019 is going to be lit and your 2018 is going to be getting rid of this structure, this old whatever. So, anyways, if you guys want a personal reading, um, go to my website, tylerdaysantos.com. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. As always, have a beautiful day. If this doesn't resonate with you, whatever, throw the shit out that you don't use and just keep what you need for you, you know? But, uh, bye.